When we talk about standardized testing, names like Horace Mann and Carl Brigham will appear. These men helped found the idea about standardized tests. Let's talk about Horace Mann. Mann lived in the 1800s. He's credited for bringing the idea of standardized tests into America. However, Mann also believed in phrenology, a study that the shape of one's skull directly correlates to the way they behave and learn. Researchers claimed he wielded psychological laws in his many reform efforts including phrenology, phrenologically based racism, sexism, and classism that permeated his writings. Carl Brigham was a creator of the SAT, according to NEA.org. Brigham thought that African Americans were on the low end of the racial, ethnic, and or cultural spectrum. He claimed the education system, he argued, was in decline and will proceed with an accelerating rate as the racial mixture becomes more and more extensive. Okay, so the history of standardized tests is wrapped in racist and other outdated beliefs, but what about now? What do students, the people who actually experience this issue, think about standardized tests? Uh, kind of makes me feel down on myself because I feel like it's a big test, it's a lot of studying, and sometimes you don't get the best result that you want. I like, what I like about standardized testing is I like how long they give us, like the whole day. And what I dislike is the pressure they can put on us because they cost so much points. Uh, what I dislike is just that like it's every year and so I just feel like you could do it like every other year. It's just like sometimes it just feels like a waste of time. I don't like anything. It shows how much effort you are willing to put into being educated. I don't think it shows anything. I think it just shows how much one person really wants to put into a test and how much some person really cares about their grades. Yeah. No, because yes. No, both. These students are not wrong. Researchers claim that intelligence is about being able to use one's intellect to solve everyday problems and adapt to situations. All standardized tests uh, show is how much a student studied for that test. This is a big reason that big tests like the SAT and the ACT are no longer being required or measured when sub submitting college applications, but some argue that standardized tests give teachers a measurement on how good or bad their teaching is. But if a test isn't a good way to measure this, that means that these teachers are getting the wrong information about what they are doing right and wrong. So should we be measuring the futures of our students with tests created by people with racist radical beliefs? There is little proof that a standardized test is an accurate tool that should be, even be in use. Let's slow down and decide if the standardized tests is the right way we should be measuring academics. <laughs>